Hello, 5M community. Today's video is a very special one, as we're excited to launch our showcase server in partnership with Zap Hosting. In this exclusive server, we'll be incorporating all the free scripts we've discussed on our channel. Plus, we're thrilled to introduce our paid animated Vinewood logo alongside our premium car, crafted entirely from scratch. And that's not all. This video will also guide you through creating your own Zap hosted Windows VPS for 5M. So, are you ready? Let's buckle up and embark on this thrilling adventure together. Make sure to register an account using the link in the description below. Once you click on the link, it'll direct you to the 5M server selection page. Today, we're going to focus on creating a server through a Windows VPS, which comes with its own set of advantages and benefits. Simply click on the Windows VPS option and you'll be taken to the System Customization page. In the first customization step, you'll be prompted to choose the location for your server setup. This choice is vital as it directly impacts your server's ping, which in turn affects gameplay smoothness. It's advisable to select a location that offers the lowest ping to ensure the best experience. You can perform a ping test right there to help you decide. As an example, I'm based in Australia, but unfortunately, Zap Hosting doesn't have a server in Australia. So I had to choose the next best option in terms of ping. As we proceed, you'll face some crucial decisions regarding your server specifications. These choices should be based on the size of your server and your development needs. For a development server, I recommend going for 6 CPU cores, 8 GB of RAM, 50 GB of disk space, 1 IP address, and bandwidth that aligns with your budget. After finalizing your specifications, it's time to move on to payment. Simply click on the Pay with Credit Card option, which will calculate the total amount due. And here's a special tip for all my viewers. You're in luck because you can get a 20% discount on the total amount. How, you ask? It's simple. Check the video description for my exclusive code, BRAVEIT20. Copy and paste this code into the Use Voucher section to instantly apply your 20% discount. Then just enter your payment details to complete the purchase. After you've completed the purchase, you'll be directed to a screen displaying your package details. As a bonus, you'll also receive an additional 10 GB of storage for free. To start managing your server, simply click on the green eye icon. This will take you to your server's main dashboard. Here, you can view important details like your IP address and the server's status. Next, we'll connect to our server remotely, which is where the real fun begins. To do this, head to your taskbar and search for Remote Desktop Connection. This will prompt a pop-up window to open. To find the credentials required for this connection, you'll need to navigate to the Access and Security page. Remember, this information is confidential. Once you've securely logged in, you'll find yourself on your remote server. And now, we're all set to dive into the exciting part of our journey. While you're watching this video, why not take a moment to register an account with Zap using the link in the description? There's a good chance you could land a fantastic 50% discount just for signing up. So, don't hesitate. Go ahead and do it now. It's a perfect opportunity to get started on your server journey with some serious savings. Upon successfully connecting to your remote server, you'll be greeted by a fresh Windows interface. Pre-installed for your convenience, you'll find Google Chrome. However, it's possible that Chrome might be set to German by default. Don't worry, you'll simply need to adjust the language settings to English manually. Before we dive into downloading anything, it's essential to make sure our Defender Firewall is properly set up. This is how we do it. Head over to the search bar and type in Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Once there, we're looking to set a new inbound rule. So, navigate to Inbound Rules. And on the right side, you'll see an option to create a new rule. Click that. We're focusing on a rule type for a port. Choose Port, then select TCP, and specify the port range from 30110 to 30120. This range is crucial for our server's communication, and don't worry if you miss something. All this info is also available on our Discord for you to check out anytime. Make sure you allow the connection. 
the rest of the settings can stay as they are. Just hit Next. When it comes to naming, anything goes. Pick a name that you'll remember. Next up, we repeat the same steps, but this time, make sure to select UDP. Just keep in mind everything we just went through, because we're about to do it all over again, but this time it's for the outbound rules. It's pretty much the same process, so let's dive right in. We're setting up a rule for a port again, so choose Port. Select TCP, and remember that port range we talked about? 30110 to 30120. That's what we're setting here as well. It's all about keeping our server's communication smooth and secure. Allow the connection, leave the rest as default, hit next, and name it. Whatever name makes sense to you. And then yes, you guessed it, we do the same for UDP. Now, it's time to download all the essential software to get your server up and running. First on our list is Microsoft Visual C++, a crucial component for our server's functionality. You'll find the download link provided in the video description below. Next, while it's optional, I highly recommend downloading ARAR Unzip Package. This tool is indispensable as an extractor for any compressed files we'll be working with. Let's ensure our server is equipped with all the necessary tools from the get-go. Now let's tackle all the downloads in one fell swoop. I've made things super easy for you by sharing all the necessary links in the video description and over on our Discord channel. Make sure to check them out. Everything you need is right there. First up, we're going to download the artifacts. Once you've got them, place all of them into a folder. Let's call it 5M to keep things organized. This is where the magic starts, but we're not stopping there. Next, we'll need VS Code. This is our coding powerhouse, essential for any tweaks or scripts we'll be diving into. And of course, we can't forget about our database software. This is crucial for managing all the data our server will be handling. By downloading these applications now, we're setting ourselves up for success. Everything's at our fingertips, ready to be utilized as we build and manage our server. So, go ahead, start downloading, and let's get ready to bring our server to life.
Now that we've got all the essential items downloaded, it's time to breathe life into our server. Let's open the FX server in the artifacts. This is where the heart starts beating. You'll find yourself moving over to TX Admin to start customizing. Here's where you get to pick the soul of your server. Whether you're leaning towards QB Core or ESX, choose the one that fits your vision. And crucially, make sure to specify the server path where you want all the files to land. Next up, hit Go to Recipe Deployer. This is a pivotal moment. You'll land on a page where you'll need to enter your license key. Remember, this key is confidential. Treat it with care. Following that, you'll see options for your database. Tweak these settings to match your preferences. Once you run the deployer, your server springs to life. All the essential files will settle into the TS Admin folder, and your database will automatically integrate with Heidi's QL. It's almost like watching your server take its first steps. And there you go. You're now ready to connect to your server. Use the connect IP in the client console or just look up your server in 5M. It's time to see the world you've created. As you might've noticed, I've had to skip over a few of the installation details for brevity. But don't worry, I've got you covered with a more detailed installation guide right on my channel. Just click the link in the description below to dive deeper into any steps you'd like more clarity on. The main goal of this video was to help you all successfully create a server using Zap. If you've managed to achieve that, then it's a win for both of us. Remember, this journey is about learning and growing together in the 5M community. Your success in bringing your server to life is indeed my achievement as well. Here's an incredible opportunity for you. If you register an account with Zap using my link right after watching this video, you might snag a whopping 50% off. Here's a little insider tip. Spend about 5 minutes browsing the Zap site and you might just get a pop-up offering you that 50% discount. But if you're eager to jump straight in, don't worry. You can still use my special 20% discount code. Either way, you're set to save big on getting your server up and running with Zap. I'm thrilled to announce that Coden has surpassed 1,200 active members, gaining over 200 new members in just under five days. Our community of developers is growing rapidly, fueled by new partnerships and a shared passion for innovation. I encourage you to join our vibrant community of 5M developers, which offers numerous benefits. Our dedicated staff manage support tickets efficiently, and all my video content, complete with download links, is first released in our Discord accompanied by a notification system. Additionally, members can share free original scripts for community use. We also feature dedicated channels for general discussions, QB Core, and ESX support. Our aim is to provide comprehensive, free support and assist everyone in the community. Join us today and make a difference. Much love from the Coden team. Not to miss 